We are in Dora for Coach's Corner. I'm Brett Elmore alongside the coach of the Bulldogs, Coach Chavis Williams. Coach, good to see you, sir. Glad to be on. Coach, uh, here we are. You've already uh, had a bye week. We're already into the season. We're in the thick of things. Uh, uh, you had that opening uh, loss to Cordova, but since then, you guys have rebounded, and, and uh, you're on a little streak here. And talk about the season so far. Um, yes, you know, just to sum everything what you just said up, um, you know, going into the year, high expectations, and, uh, you know, we just had to kind of find our way a little bit. Feel like that first game, you know, it was more about what we didn't do, you know, and uh, credit to Cordova for winning that game. And uh, I think we did find a lot about ourselves that uh, how important the little things are. And uh, I cannot be more proud to this point about how guys have kind of flipped the switch, you know, and started paying attention to the little details, you know, the things that really matter, you know, as far as being on time, being prepared, and doing your job. So. All the small things, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, well, Coach, uh, talk about – like I say, we're in the thick of things now. Talk about that region that you're in and kind of the things that you, you've learned and, and what you see this region, how it's shape, shaping up. Well, the region in whole is new for me, but yeah. we, we did a good job. The coaching staff did a good job of watching teams from last year, see what they had coming back, you know, philosophy, who changed coaches or what couple new coaches in the region, including myself. But I mean, I, it's a pretty competitive region. And uh, it's it, our games are kind of spread out, you yeah. know, as far as – who we play at what time, and uh, but we got a lot of them on the road. We only got yeah. one one at home, and that's Fulton Dale on down the road. But our focus now is on Uniana, and that's a well coached ball club, physical ball club. Um, going to create some problems for us that we're going to have to solve throughout the game. But um, these guys have had a good two days up to this point, and um, all our focus is on Uniana at this time. Speaking of Adiana, a traditional powerhouse, mm -hmm. really, and uh, like mm -hmm. you said, very well coached. Uh, when we were coming in, you were watching game film. What do you know about those guys, and uh, what do you expect Friday night? Like I say, um, for us defensively, it'll be the first time to where I feel like guys are going to try to formation us to get us and get us out of whack. But um, I think we're going to do a good job on that side of the ball like we have all year long. Our defense has been tremendous all year long. Um, sometimes on offense we put them in bad positions, but uh, yeah. they do a good job of flying to the football. And offensively, they are a smash-mouth team, you know, like 70% 70 run, 30% pass. So oh, wow. along with that, there's always those chances to where secondary get the eyes in the backfield and one get behind and give up a big play. So That's right. thing with playing a team that run the ball, you know, you have those situations that you really have to worry about. And they're good in special teams too. They're just a, a really – High quality football team. Well, Coach, one last question for you. What's it like to be home in Dora? Man, it's it's like a dream come true. Yeah. It's, um, I wake up every morning excited. I, I don't I tell people all the time I don't have a job. That's I'm right. doing something that I love to do. And yeah. being around these young men day in and day out definitely makes my life a lot better. And, um, you know, not all coaches get the opportunity to coach one of their own, too. I got a son that's in 10th grade on his oh, team wow, as well. Okay. And just to see him walking through the same hallways that I did, you know, seeing the same cultures that I did. But but bigger than that, I just think it's where God wants me to be, and I'm excited to be here. Well, you're definitely an asset to uh, Dora and Walker County for sure, and we always enjoy working with you. And best of luck Friday night throughout the season. Yeah, and I appreciate you guys. The, the notoriety you give these kids and um, the exposure that they get, they, they don't know how lucky they are at times. I don't believe. And if I had to go leave this saying, go Bulldogs. Thank you, Coach. Coach uh, Chavis Williams here at Dora High School on Coach's Corner.